Hey guys, welcome back to Caveman Mining. Hope everyone is well and having a great day today. On today's video, we are going to be testing the new G Miner unlock on the light hash rate 3060 RTX Revision 2 card. Okay, so we are in the laptop now and we are going to test this uh out in real time and uh i just want to show you guys the version of g minor is the latest release which is uh three days ago uh 2.68 okay and the difference between uh 2.68 and 2.67 is the detection lock uh and the unlocking is automatic with 2.68 there's actually no i believe arguments that need to be set it's pretty much just plug and play. So we'll test that out. Now I've seen previous miners and YouTubers and uh, you know people recording uh, the G miner uh, having varying hash rates kind of bouncing up and down. Uh, and I've seen um, power consumptions like really erratic, like you know very high uh, and then kind of going back down. So let's see if we can kind of reproduce the same symptoms that everyone else in the community has been experiencing. Uh, we are going to tab back over to HiveOS. We're gonna get into our rig, okay? So it's the hanging rig as you guys see here on the, the bottom right of the screen uh, going. So um, we have everything preset and I just wanna show you guys again um, uh, the version uh, that I'm running on HiveOS that includes the 2.68 G minor is this uh, 0 0.6210, uh, 210918 uh, is the latest, which includes the 2.68 of the G minor. Okay, so just um, if you need that uh, G minor, make sure you scoop up uh, this version. And just to recap, okay, on the drivers for NVIDIA, I am running the uh, 4.60.91, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Maybe what we'll try to do is update the driver uh, after we run this first test, and we'll see if that makes any difference. I believe to achieve the full results, they recommend uh, 4.65 or the new 4.71. Uh, NVIDIA driver, so we'll see if that makes any difference at all. Uh, let's go ahead into the flight sheet uh, and take a look here at the G minor. I have so many flight sheets pre programmed in here, I just have to locate it in one second. Uh, we've got Raven, okay, so let's take a look at this flight sheet here. So we've got Ethereum as the coin, we've got our wallet set up. Ivan Cool just for testing and then G minor. Now, in the previous versions, you would actually have to go in and uh, add extra arguments for the light hash rate uh, arguments in here. We are not going to do that because supposedly this version of G minor is all automatic. So we'll leave that default. Let's go ahead and apply the change. Uh, we are going to tab back over to the rig and we're going to restart the miner. So I haven't seen a lot of people running this uh, in terms of uh, you know, actually getting coins and you know, mining coins. Uh, just because of its efficiency isn't like totally proven. Uh, I believe uh, the consensus is still NB miner is probably the better bet just because you get that lower power rate consumption, but we'll really kind of do a live test to see if that is true. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a Hive shell. Wait for this to load. And uh, you guys can see already on the wall meter uh, that looks like we're pulling about a hundred and between, look at that fluctuation. So we're Bouncing back between like 190 watts to 200 and almost 60 watts like That is just it's just strange right and now this is supposed to be all automatic which reading the the release notes from a G minor it's supposed to really maximize the efficiency with this um, Automatic version of G minor. So yeah already not seeing great power consumption results and I'm not loving the 
jump or the spike in wattage, you know, getting up to 260 watts. So a little scary there, but let's um let's go into Hive Shell and see what we've got reporting for hash rates and power consumption within the miner. So looks like out the gate here, it's reporting in software of 126 watts, which is not true because you can see right on the screen there, we're hitting 200, you know, we just hit 260 uh, watts, which is not great. But the hash rate, right, we've got the uh, reported hash rate of 33.13. So okay on the hash rate. Uh, it looks like we're spooling up a little bit on the hash rate, but you can also see we're spooling up a little bit on the power. Uh, and on the wall, we've now broken over 260 watts in some instances of those spikes. So yeah, I'm seeing like, I was seeing like 261 watts. So yeah, I'm not, uh, not particularly blown away, I would say, by this. Um, and we're only getting, we've only got one share and we've moved down to 32.99 in terms of wattage and the efficiency is not tremendously great anyways for, um, for this card. So yeah, I mean, the consensus already is NB Miner was much more efficient in terms of obtaining hash rates and shares and power consumption. So yeah i am not uh not sure and even look you see these fluctuations in hash rate see 33.33 versus 32.99 um so it's like really it's really up and down um i would say let's take a look uh at the overclocks that i have here a little aggressive on the overclocks which i think that's fine but let's Let's maybe play with this. Maybe we're we're at a level that's too high and causing some of these fluctuations. I'm not going to set a power limit. I want to see what the software does uh, for that, but then we can we can try that. So let's try uh, 2500 for the memory. We'll leave the core uh, consistent, and we'll see in by changing that it's restarted the miner. So that's interesting. You can see the GPU zero lock detected and it's unlocking. So that's that auto auto unlocking that's running, which makes sense, I guess. Uh, and we have nothing reported uh, right away for the hash rate um, power level. The card is just kind of spooling itself back on. So that's expected. And we'll see what we come up with here for the first couple hash rates. And then uh, you can see right there, GPU zero unlocked. And it's verified. It's actually snagged a, a couple shares there. So maybe maybe the clocks were a little bit too high. Um, okay, so a little bit better on the hash rate. That's for sure. So I think our clocks were too high. Uh, it was kind of beating up the card a little bit in the uh, wattage. This will probably spool up as we go. And I, I, if I'm a betting man, the hash rate's probably going to go down as the, as the card gets, you know, hot. Uh, but uh, 100 and saying 105 watts. But at the wall, we're pulling still 192 watts to back up to 260. <laughs> so, and then there goes down the hash rate again. So, yeah uh it's it's definitely yeah this this miner definitely i mean they've made strides okay i mean they got the hash rate to come up that is certain but they really the devs need to go back and really look at the efficiency of this card especially even on this like auto unlocking one i'm not sure what the result is supposed to be but does not look that much different from uh the previous versions if we were to plug in those arguments so we're going to take a little bit uh, change of pace here. I'm going to uh, take a pause and do an edit and see if we can update the drivers and see if we can reproduce this test and maybe get a little bit better results. So we'll do that for you guys here. I won't bore you with watching me uh, doing that and we'll cut back to the next results. All right, guys, so here is the scoop. Uh, interestingly enough, okay, I tried to update the NVIDIA drivers for this light hash rate revision two card. 
to 4.70. Uh, which is recommended when you read the uh, release notes to NB minor, it states that uh, they recommend having the 4.70 driver. Now, they don't mention anything about a revision two, but they mention about a revision one card, which this is not. Uh, I also tried the 4.65 drivers, which I was hearing some other uh, folks out there were using for this NB minor. Uh, unfortunately, I could not get either of those two drivers to work. I had to roll back to 4.60, which uh, the one that I installed here is uh, 9.1.03, to get the uh, unlock to work. Because I could get the card to hash on those um, other drivers. Actually, I couldn't get the card to hash at all with 4.70. Uh, I could get the card to hash with 4.65. Uh, but I could only max out at 27 mega hash and we were not getting the, um, you know, unlock uh, NB minor uh, notification. So uh, with this, we had a rollback. Okay. So if you look here in the minor here, um, I've adjusted some clocks and uh, we get 35.35 mega hash. Okay. At uh, 111 Watts. So a uh, higher hash rate, uh, interesting enough, maybe doing something with the driver, uh, kind of rolled, rolled things back or refined things. But uh, yeah, so the verdict is for light hash revision two cards. Let me know guys, are you, have you used this NB, I mean, have you used this G minor at all? Uh, if you uh, have, what driver are you using? Did it work with other drivers or could you only get it to work with the 4.60 like myself? So interesting guys, interesting test, but my conclusion is still uh, on efficiency. What we see with the um, uh, wattage is just all over the place. I still recommend NB minor over G minor until they can refine uh, or kind of get a little bit better in terms of uh, their uh, you know hash rate maybe they can can break that 70% but you know they made strides they they clearly they've done something out of the norm and that's and that's good so on the next video guys we're gonna cover lol minor we're gonna do the same thing break out the uh, the wattage uh, meter here and be able to kind of capture this efficiency real time hope you found that helpful but uh, with that said guys please like and subscribe for the video and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.